Hello everyone out there, this is the Frosty Nut, welcome to another YouTube video and this is a little tutorial for Euro Truck 2 users or Euro Truck users who want to use their own logo as a company logo. Here's a little tutorial on how to do that. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a company logo file, a company logo pack and probably the easiest way to do that is to go somewhere like uh, this website here, uh, which is um, ets2world.com, uh, and look for a file that says company logo in profile, and you download that one. And then you'll get a whole bunch of logos, and these are the logos we're talking about, and we're going to change one of those to our company's logo. Now, some of these actual uh, company logo files, unfortunately, they've been password protected, which makes it rather difficult. So uh, what you have to do is you actually have to find one that hasn't got a password. This one was fine, that, that was all good, so downloaded that. Then what you'll get is you'll get this SCS file. So you'll have the logo file and you just basically you'd pop that straight into your mods folder. Uh, but what you need to do is just open it up with WinRA. And by doing that, and we're going to drag this across, hopefully. My WinRA has gone funny for some reason um, with uh, the size of the screen. I don't know what's happened there. I'll try and fix that up. Just give me a second. And we'll drag that over. So, yep, so there you are. So you just open it up with WinRA and then just use the wizard or extract it to somewhere and those are the files that you'll have extracted. So that's step one. So once you've got them extracted, what you do is you go into the material folder, the UI folder, the player logo. Now these logos here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, are the logos within the company. So, for example... We'll leave zero and we'll leave seven. So we'll just go to logo one. So you open that up in your favorite paint program. Uh, in my case, I'm using paint.net. Uh, it's basically free, but it's uh, only about $10 or something to buy it. And it's uh, very similar to Photoshop. However, it's just a little bit um, easier to work with for stuff like Euro Truck. Uh, so 10 bucks is nothing really. So there's the logo of that one. Now notice the size of it and it's in PNG format. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to import a layer, a new layer. I'm going to import it from file and I'm going to my em emotes or my, um, not my emotes, my art folder, I should say, uh, which is my PNG art. And I have my logo from my Twitch channel uh, that was created. So I just choose a size that I think would be relevant and load that in and there we are this is very very easy to do so all you do now is just match the size to the current logo that's there just match the size there like that just a little bit smaller just make sure that we get the size matched and once you've done that all you do is simply delete the original background like so, and then save it. Now, we need to save it as a DDS file. Uh, now, I'm just saving that um, with no color background. I can put a background behind it, put some color behind it. I'm just saving that, though, as it is. So, we're going to go save as, and we're going to save it as logo one. Make sure it's on DDS, and we're going to save and replace and now when it comes up with the settings make sure you're on bc3 linear dxt5 the error metric is perpetual and generate mip maps and fans f-a-n-t is on those settings are basically they'll stay there all the time once you've set them and that's all you need to do click ok that is now saved we can now close our paint program down now what you need to do is you can double check that logo, just load it up in your paint program, it should come straight up. There it is. Okay, so we can close that again. 
Now, what we need to do now is we need to zip this back up, but we need to make sure that it stays as SCS. So we're just going to move this down or move that up. I'm not too worried about that, actually. Um, don't do the logos SCS file. So just click on the other files. Actually, I'm going to do that like that, can't I? Uh, where are we? Type. That's what I want. Oh. Something like that. Size. That'll do. Okay. So we just grab those four files. And then we're just going to add them to an archive. We're just going to add them to an archive. We can use WinRAR for this. Now, this is what's important, though. This is the very important part. Make sure you select Zip and change the last part of the name. Take the .zip off and put .scs. Okay, making sure you do that. And there we are. That's now done. So if we now copy our logo file over to our mods folder, put it in our Euro Truck 2 mod folder, we're just going to copy that over there. That is now in, and all we do is load up Euro Truck. Very simple. So we're going to load up Euro Truck now. And it should come up on your screen in a sec, I hope. There we are. Okay, now go to Mod Manager. Make sure you do this, okay, because you need to activate it in the profile. So we're going to put that over there. And we're going to drag it down a little bit. Now, I already had one in here, which um, I didn't actually download the mod. I did it through Steam Workshop. And um, it's a little trickier to do it that way. You can still find the file and edit it through the Steam Workshop. However, it's better if you download the actual uh, logo file itself and do it yourself. So I'm just going to find my old one which will be down the bottom here somewhere and usually around in the paint areas. It doesn't really matter where it sits. It's not a big deal. Uh, just make sure that you've, you've done it correctly and it should work. So there's my other one there, which I downloaded off Steam. So I'm going to deactivate that one and I'm going to now just simply make sure that it's there. Company logos. We're going to confirm the changes. And if we come into Edit Profile, we should now effectively have our logo selectable. Very simple, very easy. Easy peasy. Japanesey. Uh, when it loads up, of course. <laughs> when it loads up. This is the thing, sometimes it takes a little bit of a delay. If it doesn't work for your first time, you can always just shut down. So there's our company logos, and there it is right there. Good old Frosty Nut. We put that in, go apply, and now your company logo is saved in there when you come up. Now, if you want to change your profile picture, and I've done this before too, you can put a headshot of yourself in the game, and you just simply, all you do is uh, take a photo of yourself and basically use a photo program and save that in a similar way. There are tutorials on the internet and I can do one later on how to do that as well. Once you've got your profile picture done, you need to actually upload it through World of Trucks website. And that will allow you to actually put your picture in there. So you don't do it through the mods, you actually do it through the World of Trucks website uh, to change your profile pitch, picture to yourself. And what you need to do is then connect your profile to the World of Trucks and that will show up plus any personalized number plate that you've chosen to use uh, as well. So um, if you want to do that, it's easy. But do remember, if you're using uh, pro mods um, in your game or you're playing multiplayer, um, you can't accept external contracts or world of profile 
um, contracts, especially with pro mods. Uh, if you're not using pro mods, if you're not using map extensions, it doesn't matter. You can use the get the external contracts from uh, World of Trucks. But if you are using pro mods, World of Trucks contracts, they will show up on the list, but you can't actually use them because they're not working with the maps so don't worry about using them but you can still have your profile and your personal number plate show up just by connecting your profile to the world of trucks well that's frosty nuts uh, little tutorial video on how to do your company logo i hope you found that useful if you did please leave a comment rate subscribe click the like button and leave a comment and if you didn't like it then leave a comment anyway because i always like feedback whether it's good or bad doesn't really matter have a great day everyone catch you next time this is frosty nut thank you very much